Greetings, Benjamin J. the Victrola Guy with another in the series on the thin foil phonograph. Well, the machine has been sitting here untouched for the last two weeks. Yesterday or the day before, I made a quick recording on a piece of one inch copper snail tape um, just to play with it, but the machine has just been sitting here. I've had a cover over it. So, brush out the grooves. So, I've got a piece of aluminum foil. Now, the whole point of doing this is to see how well the machine has stayed in adjustment for the last two weeks. Now, recording on copper is much easier than recording on aluminum. Uh, copper is, uh, has a much higher tensile strength, even though it's thinner. And you can make a recording on copper with no setup on the machine at all. Recording on aluminum foil, Usually you have to make a recording, make an adjustment, make a recording, make an adjustment, make a recording, make an adjustment. And sometimes it takes 10, 15 strips and you've only got 2 inches to work with. And so it's really time consuming to get this machine adjusted. And uh, so what I'm trying to do, of course, is make final adjustments on the machine so it'll stay adjusted. And it doesn't have to make super loud recordings as long as it makes good consistent recordings. That's what I'm looking for. But uh, since I changed the diaphragm, the machines are making fairly decent recordings. Uh, I just want to make sure that it will stay in adjustment so I don't have to spend any setup time on it. That's why I like copper. So in any case, we're recording on 1.5 mil aluminum foil, and the machine is ice cold. Like I said, it's been sitting here for two weeks with a cover over it just to keep the swarf off of it. And there's swarf, the swarf gets everywhere, especially when I'm shaving cylinders. So, put a piece of foil on here. Get it straightened up and lined up. Get this glue off my fingers. Okay. Mm, it's still off. And I'm still off. Wow. There we go. Finally. A strip of glue. Stick this edge down. Alright. Let's roll the edges over. So I'm really curious to see how this has uh, fared staying in adjustment. So I haven't had any time at all to play with this tinfoil phonograph. I've been busy recording cylinders. In fact, I got a uh, rush order to record a cylinder tonight. So, all right. Get a nice smooth surface. I'm getting down towards the end of the roll of this foil, so I'm going to have to get some more. But when you get to the end of the roll, it begins to leave wrinkles in the foil. Because it's so tightly wrapped on that cardboard tube. So when I get the next roll, I'm going to take it out of the box completely. And I'm seriously thinking about making a small table of some kind to cut this foil. It's really tedious to take a strip of foil, trim it to length. Because this strip of foil is 18 inches long. And this is a big mandrel. Okay, so we've got the foil on the machine. Rewind the mandrel to the starting point. Find the first groove. Okay, we're in the first groove on the mandrel. So, the machine's been sitting for two weeks. It's ice cold. I haven't done anything to it at all. I'm just really curious to see 
what kind of recording it will make after sitting <coughs> excuse me, for two weeks. So, no adjustments of any kind. I'm just going to put a piece of foil on it and see what happens. So, I'm going to be recording Mary Had a Little Lamb, as usual, and recording with the speaking tube I made just for the phonograph, the tin foil phonograph. So, let's see how we do. Hello, hello, hello! Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow, and everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Ha, ha, ha! All right. So, rewind the mandrel to the starting point. So I'm hoping if the machine stayed in adjustment, this should make a pretty good recording without having to do anything to it at all. Like I said, it's been sitting for two weeks, and it is ice cold. All right, here's the recording we just made. See, the nice thing that I liked about copper is the fact that it's, it has uh, such higher tensile strength that the machine doesn't have to be as closely adjusted to use copper. It's just that I haven't found any copper that's uh, easy to use, put it that way. Uh, you know, a two-inch strip of copper foil, and I have to find the right thickness. So, it's just a matter of continuing my experiments to see what works uh, what makes the best recording with the least amount of adjustment? You know, because it's really difficult to, if I'm going to be doing demonstrations with the machine, to get there and then have to spend 20 minutes getting it adjusted uh, for it to make a, a decent recording. But uh, that was fair. That wasn't the best recording I ever made, but it also wasn't the worst. And uh, for making no adjustments to the machine at all, that actually wasn't bad. You know, so, like I said, the machine's been sitting here for two weeks. It is ice cold. And I just had a, a, a rag over it uh, to keep the uh, swarf out of the air off of it. So, a decent recording. Um, an interesting experiment. And that's, you know, one thing about all of this is that the only way to know is you have to do the experiment to find out what does what. And uh, it's interesting to, to know that the machine has been sitting here this long. And yet the first recording I make on it was acceptable. So... I just wanted to document it. Uh, I'll be continuing my experiments now that Christmas is coming up on being over with. Uh, I'll have some time to uh, start trying out all these different foils in the thicknesses I can find. That's the drawback. Uh, there isn't a whole lot of um, selection as far as foils that are available in specific sizes. They make them in X amount of sizes and that's it. So this is 1.5 aluminum. I recorded on 0.5 mil, 1 mil, 1.5 mil, and I'm still looking for the uh, Reynolds Gold aluminum foil, and I don't know what the advantage of gold foil is. I've seen it, but I'm thinking perhaps it's thicker. Uh, I don't know why they would make gold foil that was the same as aluminum foil, or the same thickness, so there has to be something to it. It's just a matter of finding it. I can find it online wholesale, but I can't find it retail anywhere. And I do want to try that gold aluminum foil, just give it a try and see what happens. But in the meantime, I just want to document this experiment. So, uh, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email, thevictrolaguy at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.